Hi and welcome guys, Castle Queenside here. Today we have another great game straight from the chess vault. This one was played in 1859 between Lange Max who was playing with white pieces and Andersen Adol who was playing with black pieces. Uh, this game features uh, Evans Gambit and of course the game is not the most precise one obviously because people uh, didn't have that many knowledge on chess theory back in the day. So that is the reason why computer recognizes most of their moves as inaccuracies or maybe some even some mistakes. But uh, even though this game had a lot of inaccuracies, when you look at it from today's perspective, it is a still game worth watching, so I hope you will enjoy it. The game started with e4, e5, knight f3 for Max, knight c6 for Andersen, bishop c4, and bishop c5 so this is the Italian game now Max Lange decides to play b4 and this is now Evans Gambit bishop takes on b4 c3 was played for the white and bishop a5 so for now these were all book moves so nothing special about this variation and now d4 was played for white striking in the center he takes on d4 and castle kingside for the white Knight f6 for the black, e5 for the white, of course, still book moves up until this move, and now d5 was played for the black. Uh, already a computer says that this is a mistake, and the best move for black in this position is knight e4 recommended by the computer, and uh, we will see now why. So instead of going e5, the black should play knight e4, then the game would continue with rook e1, and knight c5 with a equal game, a slightly better position for white. So after rook e1, there is another move for black, which is not good of course, and that is bishop takes on c3. Right now the game would continue with rook takes on e4, bishop takes on a1, knight g5 already putting the pressure on f7 pawn, queen e7, bishop takes on f7 check, king d8, e6 trying to protect this bishop and even discover this king even more d takes on e6 knight takes on e6 with a check bishop takes on e6 and bishop takes on e6 so in this position the black has a material advantage but white is doing better since he has an initiative and uh, the black king is really really weak so that is the reason why uh, bishop taking on c3 was not a good option and uh, after d5, the white decided to play bishop b5. Uh, again, computer says that this is a mistake and recommends e taking on f6, so computer recommends taking this knight. Knight e4 was played for the black, which is a great move. Right now, there is a threat on this field and we remove the knight from the threat of this pawn. After knight e4, knight takes on d4 was played which is a mistake by the computer, computer recommends a bishop taking on c6 with a check, so this was the recommendation by the computer. Right now black decided to take this knight on c3. And in the game knight takes on c3 was played, again the computer recommends bishop taking on c6, and I will show you now how this game would transpire, so after knight taking on c3, which is a blunder by the computer, the game would continue with bishop takes on c6, b takes on c6, queen d3, right now attacking this knight, knight goes on e4, knight takes on c6, forking the queen and the bishop here, queen d7 and knight takes on a5 with the material advantage and the initiative for white and this is a practically a won game for for white so that is the reason why bishop taking on c6 was better in this position but as you know this game was played a long time ago and uh, people uh, weren't that experienced back in the day so they didn't have computers and the calculations uh, we do have now so this is the probably one of the reasons why this move wasn't played so after knight takes on c3 the black took on c3 we saw the variation with bishop c6 so after knight takes on c3, bishop takes on c3 was played, and knight takes on c6 for the white, and now black played queen d7, which is a mistake by the computer of course, the best line for black was b taking on c6, and we will see how this would look. So after knight takes on c6, b takes on c6, bishop c6 check, 
bishop d7, bishop take on a8, bishop take on a1, and bishop takes on d5, with, as you can see, same material, and uh, the black will be doing fine here. Of course, he's uh, a little bit worse since his bishop is a little bit off, his king is still not safe, but this, uh, this is a game that can be played. So right now, e6 was played for the white, uh, computer says that this is a mistake and recommends knight going on d4 as the best move since knight on d4 would be able to protect this bishop as well and uh, create an, an, uh, a revealed attack on the queen. Uh, so the game continued with f taking on e6 and knight d5 now. Of course, again, not the best move by the computer. Computer recommends again knight on d4 as we discussed previously. Queen takes on b5 for the black and queen h5 was played for the white. Of course, white now wants to uh, start and create a threat on f7 and try to expose the black king. g6 for the black, a great move, pretty much the only move that uh, works for black in this position at least. Knight takes on g6, h takes on g6 and now queen takes on g6. King goes on d7. King d7 is a great move and black king is running to safety and if he manages to save himself this game is over for white since he gave up too much material. Bishop f4 was played, a blunder by the computer and bishop e3 computer recommends is the best move in this position which is almost the same but computer sees some advanced checkmate threats in the future so that is the reason why bishop e3 was the best. And now king c6, uh, already a blunder here, because right now uh, queen b4 was best for uh, uh, for black in this position. Right now king is weak and the white uses this by putting rook a on c1, already putting pressure on this bishop. And now d4 was played for the black. So black actually tries to protect this bishop with his pawn and that's the only uh, one of the ideas he, he had in mind. So the game continued with queen g7 right now, attacking the rook and most importantly attacking this field on c7. And right now a huge mistake by, uh, uh, by black here which allowed a forced checkmate by, by white. So white now finds an incredible move which is rook takes on c3, check. d takes on c3 and now queen c7, check. King d5. Rook d1 check, almost logical moves in this position, king e4, uh, there was no escape in this checkmate but at least right now the checkmate is faster, f3 check, so after king f5 which was forced, the white finish with beautiful queen f7 checkmate, a truly incredible finish and a beautiful rook c3 sacrifice, uh, but we will go back a little bit in the position and see after queen g7 what would happen if the black decided to play something like bishop d7. Then the game would continue with queen takes on d4, because right now you cannot take this queen because the king is pinned. b6, pretty much the only move. Rook takes on c3 with a check. King has to go on b7. Rook takes on c7 with a check. <coughs> king a6. And rook taking on d7 would end this variation. Obviously the white is winning here. He has a piece up and a much much better position. There is nothing the black can do here to uh, win this game. We will go back one more time and see what would happen after bishop f4 if the black decided to maybe take this rook. So uh, this would basically end the black's position because now what would follow would be Queen f7 check and if for example if the king goes on d8 then bishop c7 would be checkmate and after queen f7 if the king decides to go on c6 there is a queen c7 uh, checkmate. So this was all for today's game, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please leave a comment, like and subscribe as this would mean a lot to me because I'm trying to grow my channel. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support and we will see each other in the next video. Bye bye.